Okay, so iOS 17 developer beta 5 and public beta 3 have been available for a couple of days now going on a week here And of course, I'd like to come back and share with you guys any additional new features and changes That I may come across after using the software for a couple of days I also like to talk about the battery performance and anything else in between so let's go ahead and dive right into this video So if you want to catch the wallpaper used in this video links of course will be in the description down below And I want to start off with tvOS 17 a developer beta 5 the software apparently referenced new iPhones yet released to the public and of course this was found over on Twitter by Aaron P 613 once again now these iPhone models will most likely be the upcoming iPhone 15s set to be announced in September now the software is getting really close to an official release and it's bigger than expected it is unusual for Apple to continue adding new features and changes but beta 5 definitely has added more features and changes and I want to start off with some of the stuff that we talked about on my initial coverage in case you missed it there's a new prompt in safari here that allows you to use your of course face id to unlock private browsing it explains how private browser now is protected by face id which i really like there's also some updates to the checking feature built into messages here you now get more details in regards to the iphone and the apple watch and uh, there's also some updates here to the health application asking you for permission to improve the service by sharing data course this feature here is opt-in option of course and there's improvements to the new live voicemail feature as well here we also have a new option to block unknown callers as well with the new live voicemail feature again a lot being added here with the latest beta which is quite unusual but i like to see this we also have a new prompt here that shows you how to locate your apple remote inside of the remote application or extension here within control center so we now have that option available here as a pop-up and a really cool upgrade to the shazam application there's some really sweet animations take a look at this uh, screen capture here i have this animation going of course as you can see right here and it looks really, really cool. As you can see, the new Shazam animations and updates in the latest beta look really, really nice. Now, there's some minor changes within the App Store, no longer using all caps and things like that. But across the board, some really nice upgrades. And there's a new update with Apple Watch, Watch OS 10 Developer Beta 5. Of course, Apple has enabled the name drop feature. It is a bit buggy, or rather very, very buggy. I only got it to work once, and I couldn't get it on camera, unfortunately. But hopefully, Apple will continue to improve this. This feature here but of course name drop is also coming to the apple watch and some minor changes and settings that i didn't mention on my initial coverage here you get these suggestion options within your battery options right here things to improve your battery health and battery life you see the auto lock and the auto brightness toggles here these were yellow before now they have a new upgraded blue look and they look different this time around within the latest beta now the next thing i want to talk about is some of the bugs within ios 17 developer beta 5 now, I have to say that the software experience varies depending on users. I've seen a lot of users say that they have a great software experience, barely any bugs. Now, I'm in the middle. I have a good experience so far. However, I've noticed that there was one time where my third-party applications would freeze at the beginning when I first upgraded. That is to be expected. Remember, iOS 17 is still in beta, so developers haven't had the time to update their applications just yet. So, if third-party applications like social media applications launch or freeze on you when you try to launch them that is to be expected keep in mind developers still need time to update their applications now there's also an issue within the lock screen where some notifications wouldn't pop up correctly or the animation is sort of broken i haven't experienced that i did experience one time freeze within the lock screen when i went to unlock using the passcode but that has been addressed itself within the latest couple of days as using the software and the keyboard bug popped up once where i had the issue where the keyboard actually did not pop up but other than that, everything else seems to be running just fine. Now, you guys are asking for benchmarks, and I have to say I haven't run a benchmark on an iPhone for a very, very long time, and these numbers look crazy, crazy good. So single core score, 2,647, and multi core score, 6,869. In terms of performance, everything is running buttery smooth, in my opinion. Yeah, of course, this is beta. There's going to be a few bugs. But other than that, everything looks to be running very, very good, which brings me to the battery, which is something you guys always ask about. Now, of course, once again, this is beta software, but the battery gets me through my entire day. I don't have to recharge my iPhone multiple times throughout the day. I am a heavy user. I get anywhere from six to seven, in some cases, seven and a half hours of on-screen time using my device. So the battery still needs some work, but it is improving beta over beta, which is something, of course, 
we like to see. Now, aside from that, another popular question I usually get is, should I update to iOS 17 developer beta or public beta? Well, to be honest, if you only have one iPhone and it's your primary device, I would say do not update, of course, because the battery just isn't the best. It's not better than iOS 16 battery just yet. And number two, of course, there's still going to be some bugs and third-party applications will most likely not work as you expect. So if you have a primary device, should you update? I would say just hold off one more beta and even after the release, maybe you want to hold off just a couple of days to see how things are going. Now, when can we expect the next update? Well, if history is an indication and Apple continues on a weekly release schedule, the next iOS 17 developer beta 6 public beta 4 should be available on the week of the 14th of August right here. So Apple will continue most likely releasing new betas every week now until we get the RC or release candidate and then the official release of iOS 17 to the general public mid-September. Now Apple could release another update to iOS 16 if they find anything that may need to be addressed in order to prepare the iPhones and iPads for iOS 17. So we may see iOS 16.6.1 coming out before the official launch of iOS 17. That about brings it into this video. Just wanted to share these details with you guys. Things are looking good. Performance is okay. Battery is okay. Things are looking great. A lot of new features continue to be added, which I really like. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.